I'm live on Facebook now. Uh oh, I better put a pillow behind me before I hit my head. <laughs> if you don't have a pillow behind you, you're going to bust your head on the back of that. So lean back slow. Get you another pillow. Make yourself comfortable, folks. I'm going to tell you about my visit with the uh, surgeon today. I am um, going to wait till. Well, I don't got to wait. There's, there's lots of viewers that are going to be able to watch this later, later on. But um, there's people that's worried about me, and that's wonderful. I appreciate that, that y'all are worried about me, and y'all are, yeah, man, that's, that means y'all love me. Um, I've got six viewers. I'm, I'm going to try to stall until I get more viewers. Seven, we got seven now. I want to explain. I'm going to keep uh, five. I'm losing viewers. I'm losing viewers because I ain't saying nothing. We got eight viewers. Okay, I want to explain in this video, once again, what I heard from the surgeon today and the outcome of uh, what's going on with my condition. Okay, for all those that you don't know, I have a AAA. And it's not roadside service one bit. It's not. It's not something that uh, can bring me a tow truck. The uh, this AAA that I have, the only truck that's coming to get me is a damn uh, hearse, and it's going to take me to the damn grave. A AAA means a abdominal, abdominal, not abdominal. Do I got a booger. Looks like I got a booger in here. Y'all give me a thumbs up if I got a booger. Uh, I got a booger. No, nah, that's hair. Anyhow, an, a AAA is an abdominal aortic aneurysm. Um, what that means is my main artery coming out of my heart that feeds the lower part of my body has an aneurysm in it, and it, it, it's close to exploding. It's got a blowout. I got a weak spot in the balloon. Like you, if you blow a balloon up and you stretch it out and you get a weak spot in the balloon, it never goes back to normal. It's always got that, that loose, weak spot. I've got one of those in my main artery coming off my heart. And it's not that bad. The, the um, surgeon said that what we need to do is we need to wait until March and take another image and go back and have more CAT scans and see if it's growing. It's not going to shrink because that shit don't happen. It don't get better. It can only get worse. But what I'm doing with my diet by uh, eating better and living better and drinking less exercising more, all that stuff that everybody always does during the new years anyway, is, you know, what I've been doing. I've, I've lost, uh, more than 20 pounds since I've learned that, that I had this condition. So I'm doing the right stuff and my diet has changed. I've lowered my blood pressure, um, through my diet and medications. Um, it's a, it's a serious condition. If this thing blows out, they say that I'll die before I hit the ground. But my uh, visit with the doctor, or not the doctor, but the surgeon, the one that does the surgery today, she assured me, she said, you're not ready to blow. You ain't going to die soon. I said, can I still have sex if I want to without, you know, worrying? She said, yeah, you can have sex. You can live heavy. You can do whatever you want. She said, don't worry about none of that. No smoking. You can't be smoking cigarettes. Smoking cigarettes is what got me this, folks. This is what's got me. I'm 47 years old. And I've got horrible, horrible arteries around my heart because of smoking. So if you smoke, man, you might as well quit that shit right now because it ain't worth a damn. It ain't good for you. It ain't it ain't good for you one bit. Once you get older, it's not going to be good for you at all. But I've got to go back in March to get a CAT scan, a full CAT scan with uh, 
dye. I guess they're going to inject me with dye so they can see things better and get a bigger image because right now the uh the scan the, the picture that she has is only from about here to here because I was I was in there for a, a back injury for a spinal injury and that's the image they took when they found out that I had this problem. So now she wants an image she wants a new image of everything she wants to be able to see all the arteries and then make a decision whether i need to have surgery or not but she said most likely at the uh age i am and the disc the the diameter that it's at i'm not going to need surgery right now because the risk of having surgery is uh paraplegic or I could come I, where it's at. I could be para para. I don't know the word that she said. I become uh, immobile. It's on my spine. Okay, the 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 aneurysm. Uh, a. I guess y'all get what I'm saying. If I were to have surgery, there's a possibility that I would become a paraplegic. So they have to weigh the, um, they have to weigh the, uh, I don't know what the words are for it right now. I, I just can't come up with words. I mean, one thing's worse than the other. And right now it's probably worse to have surgery because I could become a paraplegic, but I could live another 30 or 40 years with the condition I'm in, if I live healthily and uh, have a low sodium diet, a low cholesterol diet, and I, uh, you know, hypertension, you know, just things like that, you've got to live healthy. So right now she doesn't want to have surgery. She doesn't want to schedule a surgery. She wants to bring me back with more images to check out the rest of my system to see what they look like so she can compare it to what's on the image that she has that's a pretty good update but folks i was happy to know that i could have sex <laughs> y'all give me a call you got my phone number <laughs> let's do it to it no actually i'm just kidding i'm not into i i do use condoms but um, this ain't what this video is about. Y'all know how I am. I'm a comedian. I try to make things funny. It's all got to do with a little bit of fun and games. But I wanted to let my friends and my family know. Probably my family isn't going to like this video because my, uh, you know, just the way I speak. And I'm the black sheep. That's why. But for all of you that are worried about my condition, don't worry. I'm not going anywhere. I'm staying right here on this planet with y'all. Thanks for watching. And stay tuned to rednecksgonewild.com. There's a bunch of good stuff coming.